Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft build tutorial. I hope everyone is feeling good and ready for today's build as today we're going to be building a beautiful church and surrounding graveyard. We're going to base our design on a traditional old fashioned English style church with a bell tower and stained glass windows and I think this build would look really good in a medieval village or kingdom. So without any more rambling on let's get the foundation cemented in. So we're going to start off by laying down the shape of the structure with some polished andesite. We'll build a square for the base of the tower then begin to shape out the main body of the church including some side corridors. We've added a little entrance porch and then finally we add an outcrop on the front where we can eventually add an altar, a large stained glass window, uh, you know where the vicar stands, that sort of place. We can then fill in the floor with some solid stone bricks. After playing around with a few different brick pallets, I began to build up the wall slightly with some stone bricks, marking out where the windows will eventually go. I then built up the frame of the bell tower, which we'll, uh, we'll soon find out was far too small, and, uh, and then I continued to finish up the main walls. The walls look plain and boring at the minute, but if you hang around in a bit, we're going to start texturing those up a bit and make them look a bit more interesting. If anyone's wondering, I am actually using World Edit to, to help me quickly fill out some of these walls. Next I'm just going to quickly extend the front section slightly as I thought it was that little bit too small and then we can start focusing on the roof. I think dark oak was the best choice for this even though I think nether brick would look quite good as well. We're just going to use a combination of stairs and slabs to create a shallow roof above the side corridor, add a couple of stairs above the porch and then repeat the process on the other side. We're now going to extend the central core of the church upwards and add some square windows which line up to the lower windows perfectly. We're then going to add a dark oak stair roof on the church apse, as I think the section is called, and repeat the process on the main roof. And I think it's really starting to come together now, don't you think? We can now extend our pathetic excuse of a tower, make that a bit taller and then go around adding a few embellishments with polished andesite stairs and stone brick walls. I'm now going to break up the outside walls with some stone brick supports which I discovered are a really common feature on this type of church. We're going to add these onto every corner and then in intervals across the side walls. It really helps break up those boring stone walls and adds a whole lot more depth to the build. We can now start working on detail in the tower. To give it a bit more interest, I'm going to chisel my own little design into the tower walls and finish off those all important support columns at the bottom. We're then going to continue the indents upwards then add an outside platform on the top decorated with some crenellations and a bit of more decoration underneath with some upside down stairs. The windows can now be filled out using coloured panes of glass. I've gone for a more limited colour palette with blues and purples as I thought using a lot of different colours looked a bit tacky to be honest. I also added a bit of extra embellishments around the main large window to finish it off. By using some more polished andesite I'm going to go around the whole church and add this alternate brickwork in the corners. It's just a little touch that really adds a lot of appeal to the structure, again creating more texture and depth. Mm -hmm. 
Speaking of texture, I'm now going to spend a bit of time replacing some of the stone bricks with regular stone, cobblestone and a bit of mossy stone as well. I'm slowly making my way around the whole building, tediously replacing blocks, but it was definitely worth it for the final look. I also replaced a few blocks with some stairs to give the illusion that some bricks had been eroded or fallen out to give the church some history and a bit more story and age. Once I felt that I textured the whole outside, it's time to do a bit of the interior. So inside, we're going to create some stone pillars to separate the main large room from the side corridors. Then we'll form some arches and a platform for the priest or vicar to stand on when he's given his service. Then we'll line those cold hard floors with some rich purple carpet and add some oak log roof beams, lanterns and then we're going to add a simple stone spiral staircase to the top of the bell tower. Now we're going to go back outside where we're going to start work on the cemetery or graveyard. Firstly we're going to build a cobblestone wall just one brick high all the way around the church being quite rough and then we're going to go back round with a variation of stone slabs, adding stairs, cobblestone stairs, just a bit of variation to give the wall an aged look. Then finally we're going to go back round once more and have a, add a sprinkle of some iron bars around just to finish it off. For the gravestones, I'm using a combination of cobble and stone brick walls on top of some coarse dirt. I think it works really well and looks even better when you put some flowers and even some wither roses as well to look like dead flowers that haven't been replaced yet. We can also add a path all the way around and then add some more flowers and some shrubbery and well to, with all the respect to the dead, liven up the place a bit. <laughs> And there we have it, our English church is complete and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out and I hope you are too. It looks really nice with some delicious shaders on and will be perfect for any medieval village or kingdom. It's not too complex and will be pretty easy to build and survival as it's mainly just wood and, a bit and quite a lot of stone. But uh, So yeah, give it a go and let me know how it goes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did and want to see more don't forget to drop the little thumbs up below and press that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Tatty bye.